In this video, I'm going to demonstrate using 7-Zip to encrypt a file. This can be useful when sending confidential information over the internet. Only the person with the password can open the file. The person receiving the file will also need 7-Zip installed. The first thing we need to do is download 7-Zip. Go to 7-zip.org. Click Download. Once it's downloaded, click Run. The installer is going to ask for the destination folder. We're going to keep the defaults and click Install. Click Close. The next thing we're going to do is open Notepad to type some text to demonstrate how this process works. I'm going to save the document to the desktop. Keep in mind, while the content of this file will be encrypted, the file name will be in clear text. The file is now saved on our desktop. We need to right click, choose 7-zip, and add to archive. From archive format, choose zip at the very bottom. Under encryption section, enter a password that's at least 10 characters. For encryption method, choose AES256. 7-zip turns the attachment, or the text file, into an a zip attachment. The next thing we're going to do is open our email. We're going to create a new message and attach the file. Okay, I'm going to go back to the desktop and delete what we just did. Now that we have the attachment in our email, let's download it. Right click, save target as. Choose desktop and save. This would be the process that the recipient would go through to open the message. They would need to right click on the secure.zip, choose 7-zip, open, open archive. Once this is open, they'll see all the files within the archive. When they try to open secure.txt, they'll be prompted to enter the password we created earlier. They can now see the secured message. That concludes this video of encrypting a file using 7-zip.